Hey everybody, in our previous video, we talked about getting your file structure set up for your mod. Um, got some great feedback on that, so I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to um, kind of learn how to implement the Blender tools and how to implement um, the converter picks wrapper to help you get everything um, installed in blender so that you can use it how you can set it up those sorts of things so let's get started so familiar window here we're in blender uh, 2.93 LTS. Um, picking the LTS because that's the long-term service. That's the one that they're going to support for the longest time um, until SCS says we're not going to service that with Blender tools anymore. We're going to go up to 3.0 or whatever it happens to be. So we're going to be working with 2.93. Um, installing these have always been the same. So I don't think it's going to change very much from, um, you know, 3.0 to 3.1 and all these things should be pretty similar. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to navigate up here to the top left to file and then edit to preferences. And that's going to bring up this window. Um, and this is where you select how to install. So you click this button at the top and then you're going to go in and you're going to find, in my case, I've moved the things that I want, um, to a different folder so I could find them easily. Um, which is going to be down here for tools for SES. This is just a folder. I, I grabbed these zip files. So what you do is you just select the zip file and you press install. And then once you do that, it takes a couple of seconds, doesn't really give you any indication of anything happening. But then you'll find this pops up like this. And then all you have to do to enable it is check this box right here. Similarly, Um, well, I already have the other one installed, so again, you're going to press install. You're going to go to the directory that you have it in, Blender Tools add-on, press the install button. I type SCS, import ex export SCS tools, this is what you're looking for made by 50 Kata and four Musemen. So as long as these boxes are checked, you're installed, you're ready to go. Now, where are blender tools? What are they all? What, what is, you know, what do they look like? Well, to start off, you want to make sure that you have your properties panel uh, open here so you can see all these things. So in this case, this is the active tool and workspace settings. So you, under here, you'll find the SCS global settings. This is the path information. This is where you're gonna enter your base path. This is what we will be talking about in, an, in a coming video. Now, all of these are your action libraries, um, which you won't necessarily be doing much with them other than these last two right here, unless you are building maps and you're building some prefab things like buildings and stuff like that that go on the maps. So you don't really need these top four. I put them in there anyway, um, just because I don't like big red things that say they aren't working right. Um, again, shader presets down here, you're gonna need those as well. That's going to be um, included in the conversion tools or the blender tools. So. The other thing is conversion tools, which I will show you 
in a second. Um, how do I set these up? How do I make this happen right here? Let's have a look at that right now. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna populate these fields over here in the, um, under the project base path. Um, the hookup values are going to give you information um, about your flares and stuff like that, which are important to get your lights working. And then the material database, that's going to give you all the materials that you have available to use. And then the shader presets, again, we will come back to that after this. Um, those give you the presets and how they are loaded when you apply the material to an item what their default values are so right now um, I'm gonna show you how to get a hold of the def files that you're gonna need so first we're gonna go to our steam library in my case uh, I've explained before it's in my H drive which is called games that's where all my games are installed so I go to steam library you're gonna find steam apps next and then common and then American truck simulator and you'll find a .scs file right here. So we're going to copy that. Now we're going to go to the place where we're going to unpack it. I'm going to unpack it in my D drive. You'll see ATS-143 right here. I've already got a def folder open. I'm going to delete this old one because it's from November. Install that one right there. Now what is this SCS extractor.exe? Well, I'm going to show you a little trick right now. There's this thing called Google. You enter the SCS wiki, you're going to find everything you know you need to know about the things you're going to need to use in the game. Right over here on the left hand side, you'll find Blender Tools, Conversion Tools, Workshop Uploader, and Game Archive Extractor. So we will need that. Download it here. I already have it, so I don't need to, because it's right there. Anyway, all you're going to do pick this up with your mouse, drop it right on top of this executable. It is going to produce this window, which is going to tell you there's 8,718 uh, 8, entries in the SCS file. It's going to extract them all into the def folder. Since this is def.scs, it's going to extract them into def. Here we go. Look at all this stuff. Cool. Now, how do we set our hookup library? Well, um, we're not in 140 anymore, we're in 143. So let's look at this here. Base unit hookup. Ooh, so this isn't even in our def, is it? It's in base. Def is up here. So in order to do that, I'm not gonna do that this part part on camera because it takes uh, depending on your computer, five to 25 minutes to do it. So we'll be back in just a second after this extracts. Okay, and we're back. You'll notice that under the base folder, I have the SCS extractor here. All I did was take this base, drop it onto this extractor, and here we are, everything is pulled out of here. So we're gonna look at this again. This is base unit hookup. Unit hookup. This is our unit hookup folder. So what we're gonna choose is this here. So <clears throat> if I again go through this menu, I have to go through here, go to the D drive. ATS-143, go to my base, go to my unit, and go to my hookup. Select the bottom. There we are. Now we're at 143 right there. And then we'll do the same for the material database. Bring this window down. Hey, it's in the same place we just were. Base material, material database. Oh, because this is 140. Haha. -ha. So we're going to go up two direct, three directories to 143, like we just left. Base, material, 
material database. Done. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and find the shader presets. All right. Now we've obviously navigated to a different folder here. We're going to go in and find our SCS Blender Tools add-on, which is this right here. So if we open this, say with 7-zip, move this over here. Ooh, nice and bright for us too. That's wonderful. Um, so we move that over here. We can click on our ISO IO SCS Tools. Right here you'll find the shader presets. So you just copy this file out to you know, say something like uh, this folder here. Just pull it right out. Come on. There we go. So now I can go over here. Go to the shader presets library. Again, find that uh, place where I just was, that was in Mods, Tools, Shader Preset. There we go. Alright, so that's how you set up that section in under the global settings. There are a few other sections where you do need to set things up. Um, again, under the Output Properties, this is where you export your models to the Pit PIM format. Um, this is the default export path, which should be within your base path, which is here under your global settings. So make sure that you set that appropriately. Um, this is going to be uh, your, when we talked about um, setting up your file system, this is going to be your test mod exp. This is your expanded things for your pit pim okay that's where that's gonna go you select that now everything that you do in here if you export something with your default path your default path should automatically and it does send you to test mod video test mod exp now you can select where you want it to go I want it to go and upgrade etc etc wherever you want to send it and there you go Okay, so that's that part. Conversion tools is a separate um, thing that you do have to download, which I showed you over here, right there. Um, obviously, it's only up to 137, but it still works for the newest version, so you want your 2.12 right there. Download that. You're going to unpack it. <clears throat> into a folder like this. So it should you should see these types of things, extra mount, convert, command, licenses, bin, base, etc. Those should all be in this file. Then when you go here to make your path, you point like I just showed you into the G folder G up here, you can see for my stuff, what I'm doing. Conversion tools 212. There we are. That's that's where our conversion tools are. Um, this will light up or not light up red. It will be the normal color. Once you've selected that, um, it will be red otherwise. Like if, if you select the wrong conversion tools path, if it doesn't, if it does not detect what it's supposed to in here, like the convert command, then it will not show as normal here. It will be red. Okay. Uh, this, we don't have anything in there. Uh, this is a scene, so let's do add an object. We will add a mesh cube so we can see the rest of the stuff. Um, so here are the sun profiles. Now this is again something that's going to be in the def files as you can see right there it says default nice.sii 
Um, so how do we access that? The similar way, we're going to go to our drive, uh, our, our folder where 143 is. It's under the defs. Def again. Uh, climate. Default. Nice. Now it's going to give you all of these settings. These are times of day. 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5, so on and so forth, until you get all the way up to 24. So that would be midnight. Um, so the brightest part of the day is going to be 13, and the darkest part is going to be 1 or 24. As you'll be able to see here, all everything is black there. And yeah, one's about the same. Nope, one is the one is the darkest. It's a negative 30 elevation, so we're good. Okay, so that's working correctly. Um, this is how you see how things look in Blender at the time of day that you're going to have them in game. Um, so if you had this all the way down here on here, everything would show up black, and then when you got in the game, it would be a different color because you didn't have it set to a correct time to see what it looks like when it's bright. Now, um, what else is there? There's SCS objects. Uh, no props for active objects. We'll cover more of this when we are actually creating trailers and things like this, but this is important for um, your looks and your uh, variants. Just go through all these. Nothing in here. Now this is a material area, so we're going to add a material. Let's say uh, test cube. So now you'll see shader presets. And you can go through and you pick any one of these. I want it to be a diff spec. I'm going to add my vertex colors to all of them, to everything that uses this material, which I have done. And my mapping is going to be a UV map, which if I go up to UV editing, looks like that. It's broken open very neatly. Uh, and then I'm going to put, um, do we have anything in here is the question. I do have something in here. Look at that. So I can use Chrome Base. So this is going to be a Chrome box. Now nothing really changed with it. Why? Well, because we're not in material mode. So there's our material mode. Turn it down to 0.5. Now you can see it's kind of shiny chrome. Imperfect chrome, but chrome nonetheless. Um, that is how you add a material to something. This is all SCS stuff right here. SCS material. This is what's important. These are the things that we need to add and we need to do um, within to make it look like what it is in the game. As you can see, there's a reflection of the ground, mountains, and sky around. That's important. You want to see that because that's the reflection material down here. Um, and like I said, it's all from setting up your... Um, folders correctly to start with so um, that is material mode and that is it um, to setting up your blender tools and your convertipix wrapper and your conversion tools so um, let's recap coming up so quick overview go to edit preferences install pick our zip file that we're going to install add, install the add-on find it in the list when it comes up check make sure that this box is checked if I uncheck this box all this stuff disappears so You'll know if those are working or not. You can search them by searching in the in the search bar up here to verify that they're 
the SCS game model things that you need activated and they are there. So we're good to go. Go ahead and set your project base path like we set up initially, which was to our test mod, dot, uh, test mod underscore XP, EXP. Um, set up the hookup library directory, which I showed you how to do in here, as well as the mat substance library, and also the shader presets library and where those exist inside Blender tools and how you can pull them out and access them here. And we're gonna go ahead and again, look at this here. This is our conversion tools path. We can download it from the SCS wiki. Um, this is your export path. When you are exporting models, pit pim models, um, etc. Next is the world properties. This is where you find your SCS lighting. Uh, you can check your climate def in here. Select the lighting that you like on the, um, as you can see here, I'll do it quickly. See how it's much darker because it's 5 p.m. That's what that's for. See how things look in certain points of day. This right here, SCS object, this is part of looks and um, variants. And down here, under materials, material properties, this is where you enter your information about what you want the material to be named. Then you pick your shader preset. In my case, I chose diff spec add environmental. This is going to give this cube a chrome finish because I added the chrome base TOBJ as the base. It already had the reflection, the vehicle reflection, which is included in the um, file file structure structure that we set up in the first video. Um, you can change your um, environmental factor. You can change your shininess, your specular, and your diffuse here. And that is what is SCS tools in this panel for you. I hope this video helped you uh, looking at Blender and how to set up the different facets of how to use SCS um, tools within Blender, what they all do, um, and a little bit about setting up the workspace so you can be ready to create your first mod. Thanks for watching. We'll see you for the next one.